We are on the eve of the final night of the high school volleyball season, and still there are some answers left up in the air. Tuesday will bring rivalry night in District 36A, where only one of our playoff spots still up for grabs. LBJ is trying to make it yet another season where the Laredo team sweep the four postseason selections. But to lock that up, they will need to beat their rivals from United South. If the Wolves can do that, then they are in. If they fall to the Panthers, then it would mean they are either need Eagle Pass to Lucid Del Rio, an unlikely outcome, or they would be forced into a one game winner take all situation later this week. The other side of the coin tomorrow will see United and Alexander finish off the season. The Longhorns trying to remain a perfect and lock up the number one seed. The Bulldogs are hoping for an upset and a chance at the top spot themselves. Meanwhile, over at United South, the Panthers, they're locked into the number three seed win or lose Tuesday night. The district is telling fans tickets will go on sale tonight at 8 p.m. for both those rivalry games. They can only, I repeat, only be bought on the GoFan app or GoFan.co. Tickets will not be sold at the doors tomorrow. Over in District 35A, the Martin girls will be moving on into the playoffs, but they have a bigger goal in mind. That's winning the school's first district title in volleyball in three decades. 1991 was the last time the Tigers raised that banner inside the Flores Gym, and now they can lock up at least a share of the title they win on senior night against a real Grand City team. The Tigers swept in the first round of district play. A win would put them at worst in a tie with Mission veterans, but a victory and a single row win over the Patriots would see Martin the outright 35A champs.